What is up friends? Welcome back to my channel. We are going to do something a little new today. You're going to see my face. Woo! So welcome. I know the lighting is not spectacular, but we are going to roll with it. I've done the best I could. So instead of readings today, guys, I need your help. We are going to look at some tarot decks that have been on my wish list. And since it's my birthday this, this week, Holy crap. Um, yeah, since it's my birthday this week, we're going to look at uh, some new decks. And you guys are going to help me decide which one I want to order for myself as a birthday gift. All right, so let's take a peek if I can get this to work. All righty, here we go. Hopefully you guys can see this. All right, so first on the list here is the Everyday Witch Mini. Now I have the full size version and I do love it. Actually, funny story, I got this deck, whoopsie daisy. I got this deck originally because um, I just wanted it to read around Halloween time for others and just have kind of a more Halloween-y, witchy vibe. And <laughs> funny story, I end up using this quite a bit. For, um, for readings. It, it's a very, very clear reader, and it's very, very um, direct, and I was very, very surprised by the original. So I just think it would be fun to kind of have a, um, a smaller, more travel-friendly version to keep with me. So let's see if we can make this image bigger. Yeah, so you can see some of the images here. I mean, this is Amazon, you don't get a whole lot of pictures, but uh, I do very much enjoy this deck and it would be nice to have a travel version. So that is number one for the options here. Let's pop over to number two. Okay, so I'm kind of torn on this one, guys. Let me know if you, if any of you have this deck, the Dark Wood Tarot. Now, I mean, the imagery is interesting, right? I don't have anything like this. So it's the Darkwood Tarot by Sasha Graham and Abigail Larson. Um, now, I'm not usually a huge fan of borders, but this, this is kind of fascinating. I like how you can see everything still through the border. And I do really enjoy this star card with the bats in the back. Just, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by the whole artwork. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, sort of Robin Hoovy vibes, sort of not. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything like this, this type of artwork. So let me know if any of you have it and what you think of it. Cause I'm kind of on the fence with that one, but it doesn't treat me. All right, so next up is Tarot de la Nuit. All right, this one's been on my, my, uh, my wish list for quite a while, actually. Um, it's, it's digital art, which like, I'm not usually that drawn to if I'm being entirely honest, but they are absolutely stunning, these pictures. I, like the chariot? I mean, I like that she's on a magic carpet. How cool is that? There's just some cool imagery and very interesting concepts that I find myself, you know, drawn to. I mean, look at this strength card. It's absolutely beautiful. I love, I love all the, um, like the background work and the coloring. Her swords here, that's beautiful. And these are the backs, which I think are just stunning. But I just, like I said, it's been on my list for a very, very long time. I just don't know how it will read, which is always, which is always kind of the trick when getting a new deck, right? Like you might really, really love the artwork, you get it, and it's like, oh, well, this is a dud. This isn't reading for me at all. So any one of these decks, I mean, there is that... Um, that risk, right? So 
But you guys let me know what you're drawn to because this is also going to be something that we unbox together and I'll be reading on my channel for you with. So I would love, love, love your guys' input here. So next up is the Shadowland Tarot. Again, I don't really have anything like this. I don't. It's very, it's so cute though. Like, look at this. Almost like little monsters and little bat here. But I mean, it's definitely a darker feeling deck, right? It would be, I mean, it's called the Shadowland Tarot. So it would be good for shadow work, shadow readings, which is something I don't have a designated deck for at this time. And I'm just like, look at this three of wands. Like, beautiful, very, very cool imagery. I like the octopus, but I mean, again, I don't know if it's for shadow readings, how often would I use it? Probably more often than I think, but I just, let me know what you guys think. I just think it's so fascinating and I don't have anything like this. The only, the only, um, gripe that I have is I looking online because I I've watched a few unboxings of this already is the cardstock looks very, very like thick, right? It looks like a thicker deck. So I don't know how much I love the cardstock. Uh, I know it's gilded, but that can always, you know, work its way off and loosen up a little bit, but the cardstock itself, it's kind of like, it reminds me of my modern witch. Tarot, which I love the imagery on it, but I, I don't read with it as much as I do because like, I mean, it's this fucking thick, right? Like it's this thick to kind of shuffle. It's, it's not, I mean, it's not the best, but it does, it is a good reader and I do enjoy it. So six of one, half a dozen of the other. So I'm really curious. Let me, I, let me know you guys what you think of the Shadowlands and moving on to, okay. The Wizard's Tarot again digital artwork, right? So kind of surprising here. But let's zoom in. Now, I don't really have, again, I don't have a fantasy deck. Not really. But looking at this imagery, <laughs> hello, Mr. Crow. I love crows. But I mean, the imagery is very, very fascinating. Right? Like, I like what, what they've done. Now, um, again, these pictures show nothing here on Amazon. And you guys, if you want a closer look of these, because I know the split screen, you don't really get a huge good look at it. So um, I will link the, like, my wish list in the description so you can click on these and kind of see for yourself. I don't know why, but I'm just drawn to this. Maybe the magic. I... I don't know, but again, it's like, how would that read, right? How will that read for me? Maybe it would be like the everyday witch, right? Oh, well, I guess that's sort of a fantasy deck, but I don't really count that for some reason as fantasy. But I mean, I just, maybe it would just read wonderfully like that. Like I kind of have a sneaking suspicion it would. I mean, again, we, we'll never know, but I, it does really fascinate me and I am drawn to it. So, and the cardstock again, because I've watched, you guys, let's be honest, I've watched unboxings on, not all of them on the list, but a lot of them. And this is one of them. And I like the cardstock, easy to shuffle. And it doesn't have a big stack, you know what I mean? So bonus for that one. Okay, so moving on to our beautiful Creatures Tarot. You guys, the, um, the illustrator, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, like I have been following her. I know her as Strangeling. She uh, does absolutely beautiful artwork. Like look at these eyes. And she, always, she usually has like little dragons and things in it. So I have loved her artwork for years and years and years and years and years. So. I've just always had a soft spot in my heart to, for this deck. I mean, this is the second edition. 
I don't even think you can get the first edition anymore, to be honest. But, I mean, it's just so dark and magical, and I love her artwork. The only thing is, I think that these cards um, are like more of an oracle deck size. So, excuse me, I didn't have the hiccups, but I don't know how I feel about a tarot deck being that size, right? That's, that's my, that's been what's kind of been holding me back. And I mean, I don't love borders. I don't. I know I said that already, but you guys, like the, the borders here aren't even that bad. And I think because it's like artwork, it, it just frames it nicely. I don't know. But it, there's a lot going on. Like, look at this lover's card. And I like the keyword, ultimatum. That's very interesting. Again, I feel like this would be more of a darker deck too, but I just, I think it's, again, it's the size. The size of the cards that's holding me back here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. What is this about? What is happening here? And I love how I'm looking over here because that's where I can see myself, but I should be looking up here. So I look at you, right? Jeez. All right. Let's get into some Oracle decks. I'm not sure. I don't think I have that many Oracle decks on here, but let's scroll down and see, shall we? Okay. So this is the love your inner goddess. Again, I don't have anything like this. And normally it's not the kind of artwork I'm drawn to because I find it very, very busy. It's kind of like the bone fire tarot. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's, it's very, the artwork is very, very busy, right? Just, just like this, which is why, I mean, I've always kind of wanted to try the bone fire. I think that's what it's called, bone fire. I think so. But it's just, again, it's the busy artwork and I haven't, I just, mm, it pulls me away, but for some reason, the busyness in this Oracle deck is one of the things that draws me to it. So there is a lot going on. And I like how it does have just these keywords at the bottom and it does have wording on the card itself, like love, be the light, you know? And I'm just, I don't know, I'm curious. I'm an, very intrigued. Now, one of the girls um, I'm actually in a course with, I noticed she had these cards and uh, I was like, hey, I was just looking at those on Amazon. What do you think? And she loves them. So, hmm, I just, you guys let me know. Let me know. Do you think you would be distracted by all of this or are you curious to see what they would be about? Alana Fairchild usually has very in-depth books. So, yeah, it could be all right. It could be all right. Like I said, I'm not something I'm usually drawn to, right? So the fact that they're, you know, stuck out to me at all, I find very, very interesting. All right, so now we're back to the another Oracle deck. This is a <laughs> Mystic Sisters Oracle. Now, the, I just really like the imagery here, you guys. I mean, oh, again, a crow. Do you guys sense a trend? Look how cute he is. Anyway, so, but let's just take a look at these. I mean, stunning. It's like paintings, right? They are absolutely beautiful. But again, this is more of a, a feminine artwork kind of deck, more goddess energy. Look at this one, Mind Garden. I mean, look at this. How freaking cool. Yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this artwork. Let's be honest. I just, I'm so drawn to it. I like... I think that might be the back, but yeah, it's probably the book. So I'm drawn. I'm drawn to it. This is, um, 
<laughs> depending on the day. Some days this is like, yeah, I've decided this is what I'm going to do. And then other days I'm like, no, you know, we have some kind of similar to this. So we'll just pop that down the list. So <laughs> you guys, I can't make up my mind at all, at all. So, I mean, obviously that's why I'm here with you because you're going to help me. Please and thank you. <laughs> so this one is um, not very well known, especially online. I just, the Vanessa Tarot. I tried to find some unboxings and I did see, but I mean, again, just cute, 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 almost cartoony artwork. And again, this is not something that I'm usually drawn to. But for some reason, I just really, really like it. I get a little owl here. It's not a huge deck right? Pretty standard. But I just, I'm fascinated by the artwork. I wish they had more photos here, but they don't, naturally. So let me know what you guys think. Do you, does anyone have this deck? Have you seen this deck? Are you going to look on YouTube probably for unboxings? That's what I do. I'll probably go look at another one of this today because it's been a while since I've actually seen one. So, okay. Now this, Tarot of the Haunted House. This is one that when it first came out, I thought, oh yeah, this is it. This is, this is my jam, right? Digital artwork again. But here's the thing. I don't know. Like, I like this. See, it's kind of funny because when I look at unboxings of this, I feel like I don't resonate with the artwork at all of the Major Arcana but I love the minor, right? It's kind of like Tarot de la Nuit. I love these backs though. That's awesome. Um, the Tarot de la Nuit, it's the opposite. I really enjoy the major, or wait, <laughs> yes. I enjoy the major arcana in the Tarot de la Nuit. I don't love the minors. So it's like, if I could take this deck um, and the Tarot de la Nuit and put them together, I think that would be fantastic. And I'd be curious to see how they read together and stuff. So that is something I do eventually want to try in the future. Let me know what you guys would think about that. Is that something you'd want to see? Putting, you know, like kind of slamming two decks together and seeing how it goes. I just, I am curious, I'm very, very curious how that would go. But like I said, I don't, yeah, because I, I, I like the minors in this, don't want the majors. So I'm kind of like, eh, do I spend the money, right? Unless I'm going to buy both those decks at the same time. Like, I'd probably read with the Tarot de la Nuit as it is, but I don't know if I would the Haunted House. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Another Oracle deck here, guys. This is the Sacred Self-Care Oracle. Now, I just never heard of this before. I randomly came across it when I was searching decks on Amazon because that's how I do. And again, just, I like that they're simple. It's very basic artwork, but lots of color, and yet still very direct. I like the keywords. I think they have good messages, right? And it's just, it, it just, it seems so simple and clear. I think this would be one of those decks that would be really, really great if it's just like, okay, I'm having a day. <laughs> Let's just see what I need here. Like a daily pull, just bam. And it would just be very direct and tells you what you need. Good to go. So I am very, very drawn to this one. And let's be honest, you guys, <sighs> I'm surprised because the coloring right? Like pinks and purples and blues and pastels is not, not usually my jam, right? Not usually my thing, but for some reason, this particular deck is drawing me in mainly a good portion of it because of the colors. So what, what the actual fuck, right? So that'll be on my list. I really like it. 
Okay, Raven's Wand Oracle. Okay, this kind of reminds me sort of of the Mystic Sisters. I get like the same kind of vibe from it, even though um, like I feel like the messages are very different. And um, yeah, look at this. Stepping away. Like the other one was more, um, you know, like all goddess energy. This is more, I feel like messages, like give and take, stepping away, you know, um, I just get a little bit more of a direct, almost harsher vibe from it. But, oh, these backs, you guys. Isn't that stunning? I love it. This one has been on my list as well, as well for quite a while. But for some reason, I'm just not giving in to buy it. I don't know. And still, even though I love it, it's it's just not high priority for me right now. Isn't that weird? Just, I don't know why. It's just it it's weird. It's weird for me. Okay, next. Another tarot deck. Okay, Radiant Wise. This came out a little while ago. And okay, I love me some rider weight. I think you've probably known that. My ride or die deck is the universal weight which I use in a lot of my readings here. And this one just, okay, there is there is one called the Radiant Tarot or something like that, the Radiant Wise, I think it's called. And I know a lot of people love that deck. I hate it, I hate the coloring. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And I just cannot use it. So when the Radiant Wise, I'm like, this is going to be ugly. But no, it is still my jam. It doesn't have borders. And the coloring is almost antique-like. And I am so drawn to it. Like, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's kind of like the Centennial which that, you know, that almost antique darky color. So I do really like it. There is a mini version of this as well, but I think it has borders. I don't know. I don't know. I'm tempted to try the mini version first to see how it reads and stuff with me and then get the larger version, but I don't know. Do I really need another one? Like another actual rider weight, you know? Tarot, which I mean, I don't, but I do. You know what I mean? So eventually this is going to be one that I get, whether or not it's going to be this time. We'll see. Okay, so the Messenger Oracle. This one is pretty and I like, I'm curious about the messages in the Messenger Oracle. These are absolutely stunning and so pretty. And I like the backs, but I think I heard somewhere and you guys can let me know, don't quote me on this, but let me know if you know that they're coming out with a second version of this that's borderless. So <laughs> if that's the case, I really kind of just want to wait and get the borderless version. So let me know if you guys have heard that or did I just make that up? Or am I thinking of another deck? Could very well be. All right. So, or or, or, you guys, this has been on my list, again, very, very, very long time. <laughs> it is a dragon incense burner. I absolutely love it. And he's I mean, so cute. Comes out of his, top of his head, right? I, I love dragons. I'm a freak for dragons. If you didn't know, there you go. So do I just not get a deck at all? And just finally cave and get this guy. Because I think he's so cool. He's so freaking awesome. Adorable. Let me know. Um, but this is my tarot channel. So I have a feeling you're all going to be like, get a deck. But I just wanted to show you because he's been on my list forever. And I love him. So I do have a question. So you guys, I really love these like since we're talking about incense. I really, really love the amber incense here, but it's getting increasingly harder to find. I don't know if it's discontinued or what. So if anyone can tell me if there's a difference between these amber and the precious amber, do you guys know? Is there a difference in smell? Because I love the regular amber and 
I just want to know, is that the same? They just changed the name? Because if that's the case, awesome. Then I know. But help me out, guys. If you know, I really, really, really want to hear. So, all right. There we go. That is all. Um, again, I'll leave my Amazon wish list. There was some things we didn't go through, but you guys let me know. Which one do you want to see? What do you want to see readings with? Do you like any of these? Am I crazy? Should I just not bother? Let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.